Hello, OK friends. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching my video, my channel is all about orchids. From what orchids I have, how I grow them, my thoughts on certain orchid topics, to what orchids in my collection are blooming, etc. So if you want to follow along my orchid hobby adventure, please consider subscribing to my channel and turn on the notification. Today in this video, we're looking at my Cycopsis orchid. This one is Cycopsis butterfly. This is the alba form, and it's a cross between two Cycopsis species, which I also include a parentage at the bottom of the video for your quick reference. So if we go back in time, I want to say I bought this orchid sometime late summer 2018, and it was not until beginning of October 2018 that it started to have flower for the very first time. This orchid came to my house with a very long spike already and then from the existing spike it continued to put out more buds as time went on. So um, in a way this orchid already came to me obviously as a mature plant which I have a point to make later because a couple of my friends gave me their shared with me their experience and I think this is something I should probably pass it on just so that you can benefit. It's probably something already common, commonly known, but I thought I would mention later. But here you see um, it was growing a new growth, which I was very happy about, and it continued to live in this original cup in the original media because I looked at the media and the moss was actually still pretty okay. And after a period of quarantine, I did not see any signs of pest. Not that I could see with my own eyes anyway. So I decided that it was safe enough for me to go ahead and move this orchid closer to where m most of my orchid um, were. So there are two things I want to share with you and these are the knowledge points I got from my other friends who have grown orchids for many years and also have quite a bit of experience with Cycopsis. Number one, Cycopsis are relatively sensitive to roots and so if you repot orchid, this kind of orchids at a wrong time, it's very likely that you will set them back. So try not to repot them um, during cold, cold seasons. And this one, um, I have not repotted it yet just because of that. But also, you see how this one has a sequential bloom, uh, blooming characteristic. And the second thing I want to share with you is that if you want to... <laughs> Psychopsis is a very slow grower. Typically, on average, it only produces about one suitable a year. Maybe two if you are really, really good at feed feeding it with the proper nutrients at the right time. But most of my friends said that they usually see about one suitable a year. Rel relatively slow grower, and they don't always produce flower spikes. Like it each suitable theoret theoretically would have a flower spike, but it's not always the case. So if you want to see flowers quicker, you would want to buy a mature plant with spikes already. But have buying a mature plant without the already a spike, sometimes you may still have to wait. And let alone if you want to save money and buy Cycopsis near near blooming size or even a seedling, that'll take you years. For example, a friend of mine purchased a couple near size, uh, near blooming size plant, and it's been three years, and he still has not seen any spike. And th and this is somebody who has a lot of experience in many genres of orchids. I mean, his orchids are blooming like crazy, but he somehow, his Cycopsis plants are just taking their sweet time produ um, producing, yet to produce spikes. So the care I provide to this orchid, let's talk about the light first. This orchid is placed on a east-facing window seal. So every morning, as long as it's a sunny day, 
this orchid will receive lots and lots of sunshine in the morning and then in the afternoon it will receive in relatively indirect sunlight from all the th three or four south facing window of my uh, sunroom and obviously this orchid rolls up to the oncidium family so you would definitely want to provide more than adequate amount of light so that this orchid you know would would have a better chance of blooming for you. And then in terms of fertilizer, this orchid only receives about quarter strength fertilizer every other week. I don't necessarily fertilize this orchid every week because I did that for quite some time, but I did not see how weekly fertilization helped this orchid. So I scaled back and this orchid still was doing just fine. So I didn't really quite see any difference in terms of obviously growth or bloom counts because this orchid sometimes you give me one bloom sometimes two but usually one bloom but that's about it you know when i was fertilizing it every week it didn't give me three buds so i think i want to avoid the the possibility of me over fertilizing or you know overdoing it so i scaled it back but once a month I definitely soak this orchid with just plain water to make sure I uh, give it a get give it a chance to have a proper flush. But other than that, this orchid has been relatively um, main, low maintenance, or I wouldn't say maintenance free, but I think this orchid is relatively low maintenance. For this orchid, the typical cultivar the regular form is it would have color red ar uh, around the darker yellow area that you see here and then the lighter yellow part is the normal normal part so the typical psychopsis would have a combo of red and yellowish white or whitish yellow color combination this one is an alba form so it only has darker yellow versus lighter yellow color combination I chose this one because I've seen a lot of red and yellow combo so I thought I would buy something that is slightly more unusual and um, another thing is I used to have a thing for yellow orchids so I really wanted this one instead of the regular red and yellow combo and the reason I wanted to try this one was because it just looks fantastic in terms of its I, <laughs> the the top three things on top. I, I don't know what you would call those petals. I don't really know. But, you know, every time I look at it, I feel like those are the antennas for a alien. <laughs> so this orchid is definitely something that is really interesting to me in terms of its look. And the fact that it's sequential bloomer with a long spike like that. It's also a very cool um, wow factor for me because, you know, a long spike, but then it only produce buds at the very tip and then it just continued to do so for as long as I can remember for 2019. So the first time it bloomed in 2019 was in March and then in summertime, July and August, it was very, very frequent that this orchid would bloom. So I think there, its blooming season would be in summertime. You know when it's hot or warm enough as well as sun you know sunny uh, with more light exposure i suppose but even well into the fall late fall winter season in my area the same thing fall winter this orchid was putting out buds and blooming so um i think for psychopsis because of its sequential blooming care uh, capability no it's Blooming season can be all year around, depending on where you are. But based on my environment, though, it does bloom better and and has higher frequency of blooming in summertime. And finally, I just want to close this video by answering a couple questions. Somebody, my Chinese subscriber, asked me it um, how to get rid of some. Um, white markings on the leaves from maybe fertilizer or, or insecticides that, um, that the garden centers use on orchids. Well, I use 
lemon lemon or lime juice with water, and the ratio is one to one, and that seems to work really well for me. Another question is, do I periodically clean orchid leaves, dust them? The answer is I don't because I'm a very lazy orchid hobbyist. So unless it's absolutely necessary, I would not over engineer it, and I don't want to complicate my life with all these extra tasks. If they can bloom, I will keep things as is. And not over engineer or reinvent the wheel. This is all I have for you today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to get more orchid-related videos from my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification. I want to wish you happy growing, and I will talk to you in my next video. Ciao.